Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be starting my new series called Swatch and Sip, where basically we just hang out, swatch some pretty eyeshadows while drinking whatever drink we want. Today, I have an iced coffee that I made because I haven't had my morning coffee yet. I've been saving it for this video. We are going to be swatching all of my Pat McGrath Blitz Astral shades today, so you're in for a lot of glitter, a lot of duochrome. So if you want to hang out and just swatch some eyeshadows for fun with me, then just keep watching. So last month I uploaded a video called Swatch Pretty Eyeshadows with me while in quarantine, and I just swatched a lot of my indie brand eyeshadows because I just thought they were so pretty, and I thought it would be just a fun idea for a video. And so I've thought how I wanted to do it, and I've decided to do Swatch and Sip, where we're just hanging out, we're drinking our coffee or whatever, and... I'm gonna swatch pretty eyeshadows on my arm. <laughs> so for today's topic, like I said earlier, I'm gonna be swatching all of my Pat McGrath Labs Blitz Astral shades because glittery deliciousness, absolutely, yes. So I hope you all are doing well. I hope you're staying safe. I hope quarantine isn't making you too crazy right now. I'm doing good. I miss going to the mall, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I've been actually able to keep myself quite busy between work and YouTube. It's like working two full-time jobs, honestly. So I've actually been straight up busy so yeah <laughs> by the way if you're interested in the look that I'm wearing I filmed this as an Instagram tutorial so that should be on IGTV very soon so make sure you're following me on Instagram at Morgan Turner makeup if you want to see how I got this look what products I used all of that but I will also link what I used in my description box so I'm playing around with how I want to film this last time I really struggled like standing up trying to show you the swatches all that stuff so I actually have a another camera a smaller camera right next to me and I'm going to be filming on that so you can get a closer view so nothing is really blurry or anything. If you don't know what Pat McGrath Blitz Astral shades are, basically they are her special formula that I think make her eyeshadows worth it. It makes her line more unique than any other brand in the industry. If you ask me, it is just such a unique, gorgeous, glittery, shiny formula. So easy to work with and just really unique and stunning and glittery on the eye. We're going to start off with her actual Blitz Astral Quads. She has three of them and these are all her Blitz Astral shades. You will notice she has like two different formulas. One which is more of a shimmer formula and then the other which is more of a special like glitter formula. So we're going to start off with Ritualistic Rose which looks like this really really stunning we're gonna start off with this stunning gold shade instantly you can see how pretty it's just so pretty with such like a unique tiny little glitter to it and then we have this next shade right here <gasps> how pretty is that so this one as you can see it has more of a pigmented base and you can see just how fine she can get the glitters. There's no other company or brand that can make a formula with such fine glitters. Now this one is like a duochrome. This is one that's going to be more special on the eyelid. But you can see it's a pink with gold reflex to it. Very, very unique. I love that. And then the last one is more of a bronzy shade. How pretty is this quad? It's not my favorite of the three, but I love it. And if you love like pinky shades, you're really, really going to like this one. Okay. So now we're going to pull out Nocturnal Nirvana, which is a blue one. And this is my favorite of the three because it has really, really unique shades in here. And it's just really fun. And I love the looks I create with this one. So we're going to start off with this gold shade. Pat McGrath has a lot of golds in her line. And this one is more of that like shimmer formula with those fine glitters to it. Then let's do the purple one right here. This one is pretty over a black base if you ask me. That's when this is going to shine all over for like a crazy purple smoky eye. It's going to be so stunning. Then of course we have this gorgeous blue shade. That's the beautiful Blitz Astral Formula. It has a little bit of a green duochrome to it. So stunning. And then check out this one. 
how pretty oh my gosh as you can see like these are super micro fine glitters that you can't find in any other brand i am dying for what is on my arm right now so pretty and then we have the last one which is more of this like neutrally kind of brown golden one so the first shade that we have is one of her really super glittery shades which i love these i think these are so unique so easy to work with and this shade right here, I mean, come on, this can complement like almost any look. All you need to do is just apply this to the center of your lid for any look that you do and it's going to look stunning. And then we have this like deep kind of chocolatey color. This is actually what I'm wearing on my eyelids right now. This is the base color on my eyelids. It is so pigmented, you guys. It almost over applied. I was like, I had too much on my eyelid. I didn't know what to do with it, but it's a really stunning bronzy shade. The next shade that we have is this gorgeous cranberry red color. This isn't kind of my cup of tea, I guess, but how stunning is it? And then the last one that we have is this golden shade right here. And this is what is in the center of my lid. And again, what makes Pat McGrath so worth it is how well this layered right on top of that bronze shade. So I know this angle is highly unflattering. But do you guys see how beautiful the eyelid is? So with the bronze all over the lid and then the gold color that I just put on my eye right in the center, they layered beautifully, okay? Like so pretty. And I mean, look at my arm right now, you guys. I am dying. This is amazing. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take these off and we're gonna go into her mothership palettes. So in her big mothership palettes, she normally has four of the Blitz Astral shades and they're always like the last four at the end. And I mean, again, these are what makes her palettes really unique. So we're going to start off with Divine Rose. So this is one of her newer mothership palettes and it's so gorgeous, so wearable. So we're just gonna swatch the last four. And by the way, in case you're wondering, I'm swatching like this one, this one, then this one, and that one. So we have this really stunning gold shade right here. Kind of a pretty typical golden color from her. She has a lot of golds. And then the next one is this really unique pink and gold duochrome now that my friends is what i'm talking about like how beautiful is that this next one is one that's supposed to be in her highlight palette it's the pink highlight so it's kind of cool that she has it in this palette as well as you can see it's really subtle like it sinks into the skin almost but you have a really strong pink duochrome and then we have the last one which is like absolutely insane glitteriness you're going to want to put that all over your eyelid i would suggest using a glitter glue with it but how everything is this it's incredible that is why we love pat mcgrath my friends we have a lot of her palettes to get through guys so we're gonna go with the mothership one subliminal palette which comes in the white packaging and this is what we're looking like looks a little bit more subtle doesn't it we're going to start off by swatching these four shades. This one I think has my favorite color selection of the Blitz Astral shades. So I'm going to start off with this gold shade right here. So as you can see, it's a little bit brighter than the top one. Okay, and then we have a really fun navy color. I mean, you can see just the quality in that swatch right there. And it, this will make one of the most killer dark blue smoky eyes, especially if you use your brush wet. <sighs> Literally everything. So this one is one of my favorite colors from her ever. You just can't find a shade with this duochrome. It's so pretty. <sighs> this is definitely one of my favorites when it comes to her Blitz Astral Formulas by far. And then here's the last shade that we're dealing with. Now this shade, what I like to do, is it doesn't look like it's much, but it really transforms a look. If you put this shade on top of any eye look, it just absolutely changes everything about it. Especially, I recommend if you put it on top of this blue, it just creates this really bright blue glittery eye. It's, it's everything, it is. So, 
I love those four shades. So if you like the bluer ones, you actually might want to go for Mothership 1. So we're going to move on to Mothership 2, which is Sublime. I love this pink shade right here. I'm obsessed with it. But this is just a gorgeous palette, obviously, as you can see as well. So you have golds, greens, pinks in here. You really have a unique range. We're going to start off with this golden shade right here. I mean, this is every bronze eye dream, really. And then we're going to go into this really cool, this is like a duochrome green with really small flecks of microfine glitter in there. Really cool over a black or for a spooky eye. And then one of my favorite pinks. So this one is similar to another one where there is like a yellow shift to it, but this one, I don't know, it's different. Like they're similar, but different, you know? It reminds me of one of the shades in the Ritualistic Rose, but it almost blends into your skin in some lights and then the pink really shines through. The last one that we have, I would say is like a lid topper. Again, where it doesn't look like much, but if you put it on top of a solid color, it's going to transform that look with its microfine pink glitters. So those are the Blitz Astro shades in the Mothership 2 Sublime. Literally, I can't. I can't. We have three more palettes to get through. 12 more shades to swatchy swatch. We're gonna move on to Mothership 3 Subversive. I semi-recently did a tutorial using this palette. This one is a really fun one from Pat McGrath. If you're looking for creativity and looking to be inspired, I highly recommend this one. As you can see, out of all of them, it definitely is like the most artistic, the most unique. So we're gonna start off with this green shade, which is like everything. Okay, we ready? I mean, this right here alone is enough reason to want this palette. I don't know. I just can't talk about how unique these are. I hope you guys can really see. And it's crazy because it doesn't even pick up on camera as it should. Like, it looks beautiful in camera, but you can bet it looks even more beautiful in person. This is one of my favorite shades as well from her. It's like a purple blue and whatever color you put this on top of is really going to dictate if it pulls more purple or more blue so unique really pretty and we have another shifty kind of pinky golden shade this one's a little bit more subtle subtle as you can be and then another kind of lid topper shifty shade some of these do pull better on the eyelid i would say like this one you can't really see too much but it has just a subtle hint on the eye that really makes it special. Okay, so let's go into Bronze Seduction. This is one of my favorite palettes, if not my favorite palette from Pat McGrath. It's just simply incredible. We're going to start off with another pink. Oh, sorry. That swatch was kind of a mess. But you can see... Ugh. It looks like liquid wetness so pretty and now we have this like cranberry color this all over the eyelid you will drop dead with how gorgeous it is and this is a very unique shade this is almost like a green lime green and gold shift to it with some pink as well you don't see a lot of shades that look like this very often and then we have one of her really glittery game changer shades in here as well and it almost looks translucent on the lid, but I mean, you can see that shift and shine. So these are the four that are in the bronze seduction. I'm in heaven with this video because this is my favorite eyeshadow formula in the world. So I just, I'm literally speechless. Okay, so let's take a look at the last one. This is Midnight Sun, her newest palette. And here are what the four shades are looking like. So it seems she, she always has like a pink. We're gonna start off with this copper color right here. That's yummy for an all-over copper lid. And then kind of what makes this palette unique or stand out is this shmummy purple shade. This, when I first did my tutorial, is the first shade that I went for. And then we have one of her golds. This one is like a yellow gold, a very yellow gold. Very, very glittery, really stunning. Then the last one, we have one of her special glitter formulas. It's 
so again this is midnight sun these are the last four but i'll let you take a look take a look at all of this gorgeousness i mean where do you find a formula like this? <laughs> so that is it. That is all I have to swatch for you guys. Those were all of the Blitz Astro formulas in Pat McGrath's line. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I think it's a really fun video idea. These are the reason that I purchased Pat McGrath. So if you were thinking about it, I hope you got a really good look at the texture and dimension that these gorgeous shadows bring. So I had fun. Let me know what other kind of categories you guys would like to see with swatch and sip. Some ideas I have in mind just to kind of get your juices flowing as well is doing like Kaleidos eyeshadows, my favorite purple eyeshadows, the best glitter shadows, uh, what else? Swatching and comparing all of Natasha Denona's gold eyeshadows. Just things like that. If there's anything you want to see swatched, let me know. That is all I have for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It was just a chill, kind of informal video. If you aren't subscribed to my channel already, I hope you guys take the time to do so. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys, have a good one.